or not, now get packing. Can't do this to me. I've got my whole summer all planned out. That's right, Jennifer. It's called three months at Camp Quim. Cherry, cherry pie. Cherry, cherry pie. Cherry, cherry pie. Oh, so good. Sugar, sugar plum, sugar, sugar plum, sugar, sugar plum, sweet as they come. La 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 la. Little Jack Horner sat 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 in the corner. Eating his cherry, cherry pie. I didn't put in a thumb. I didn't pull out a plum. I guess I'm not as great as me. Hi, Greg. Ooh, I always knew you carried a heavy load, honey. Tammy, Susie, will you guys back off? What's going on here? Come on, ladies, you've got better things to do with your time. Scram. I doubt that. Maybe later, you hunk. Those girls are gonna get me fired. Say, Greg, did you happen to see Carla on your way in? She's been missing all day. Olga is on the warpath. I've got to find her. Can you give me a hand? I'm gonna have all I can do to explain how I lost one of the girls at the airport. Twice. Twice? Yeah. The first time, I found her in the cargo hold with three of the attendants. Oh, <laughs> she'd fit in real well here. <laughs> but it wasn't a total loss. I was able to hang on to one of them. Angela, this is our other camp counselor, Marcy. Hi. Hi. I'll see you girls later. Okay, Greg. Thanks. Oh, Marcy, be careful. I saw JD's pickup truck parked just outside the camp, and I think it was Animal's bike who was in the back. Uh, you know what that means. Okay, I'll watch out. Thanks a lot. Angela, do you see those two girls down there? Yeah, that's Veronica and Tammy. Would you mind going over and introducing yourself to him? I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Marcy. Move aside, animal. Whoa, wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going into the shed, animal. Now get out of my way. No way. You don't want to go in there, lady. Look, animal. I am in no mood to be playing games. Now get the hell out of my way! Well, hello, Marcy. What's the problem? J.D., have you seen Carla? Yeah, she's right in here. Hi, Marcy. Looking for me? All right, what the hell were you two doing in there? Yeah, not a thing, Marcy. I was just showing Carla proper tool handling. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Suppose we go tell that one to Olga. Suppose we don't. Suppose I fire you right here. Hey, you don't have the authority. Just try me, J.D. Now, come on. J.D., are you coming? Come on. I might find you here. Olga tells me you're quitting. That's right. I'm quitting. I never should have taken this job in the first place. And why not? You're one of the best counselors this camp's ever had. I heard Olga say that myself. You handle the girls beautifully. That's just it. I don't handle the girls at all anymore. Not after tonight, I don't. Greg, did something happen between you and one of the girls tonight? <sighs> nothing happened. You can tell me. Nothing happened, nothing at all. But it almost did. 
And that's what scares me. Came real close. And I wanted it to. Oh, shit. When I took this job, I thought that I was some sort of a Superman or something. And that I could be around these beautiful girls all day long. And that they would never affect me in the slightest bit. Was I wrong? I was wondering when this was going to happen. You don't have any reason at all to be ashamed. You know, Greg, in mythology, even the gods had to come down to Earth for mortal women. Yeah, but I'm not a god, I'm a man. That's right, you're a man. And you need to get laid. Oh, Marcy. That's where you had it all wrong. You thought you were being more of a man by resisting your impulses when act in actuality you were being less. A man has a responsibility to his body, and so does a woman. Are you ready, girl? Angie, old girl, you're off on a day you won't soon forget. We're off on the high road to adventure and romance. What in the world is she talking about? If anyone knew, we probably wouldn't be going. Some. Yeah, I see. I'm sorry. I'll take them. Thank you. Hey, look, I'm I'm sorry about that real bad scene yesterday. I was a, I was a jerk. That's all right. Veronica was pretty rude. Yeah, still I owe you an apology. Sometimes I think I I, I might be different if I could just get out of this place. Out of here? But it's so beautiful. You know, when I think about the places a girl like you must have seen, <laughs> the people you've met... I haven't been anywhere or seen anybody. This is the farthest I've been away from home, uh, on my own. That's crazy. You're rich. I mean, you can afford to go anywhere you want. I suppose. Daddy's got a lot of money. Everything was brought to me. I think he was afraid that something might hurt me. I had servants and friends and teachers, all bought and paid for. Big time. <laughs> Yesterday, did you mean what you said? About my being pretty? Well, damn straight I did. <coughs> you, you, you have to be about the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Uh, sure. No, I swear, it. I, I've never met anyone like you before. I really don't have any right to ask you this. But is Carla your girlfriend? Carla? That's a laugh. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, I don't plan on ever seeing Carla again. What the hell is going on here? I don't know what bullshit he's been laying on you. But he's tried it with everyone in the camp. And if you don't believe me, just ask anyone. Why don't you get lost, Carla? Listen, I've got to go. Goodbye, J.D. Didn't do so well, did you, sweetheart? Face it. <laughs> Miss White-Eyed Innocence is out of your league. Yeah, well, I'm out of your league, too, baby. Oh, shit. 
damn flat bitches. <laughs> 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 girls just go on without me I think I might be staying here just a little while come on Angie there's not enough to go around anyway what are you gonna do get lost like you did at the airport let's go mm -hmm. jackpot Angie two handsome lonely cowboys Take your pick. <laughs> or if you prefer, we could mix a match. Come on. Bartender, I need something stiff. And a drink will do. For now. You got IDs. IDs? We're out in the middle of fucking nowhere and you want IDs? That's right, no IDs, no booze. Aw, oh, come on, Ernie. Give the girls a break. Sorry, Buck, them's the rules. Well, God damn it! how's a girl supposed to kill a thirst around here? How about a nice cold Coke? Coke? I ought to bust you across the chops. Wait a minute. Come on, Veronica. Let's go. I'm cold like hell. The only one going around here is this fucking bartender. Sir, would it be okay if my friend and I played a little pool? Sure, ma'am. You go right ahead. I'll get you a couple of Cokes on the house. Do and I'll shove them up your ass. Oh, come on, kid, chalk up. But Veronica, I don't know how to play. We're not playing pool. We're going fishing. And that pretty little buddy of yours, that's gonna be the bait. You just do what I tell you. Start reeling them in now. I think they swallowed our bait. Oh, there's hope for you yet, Angie. It's your turn now. Bend over. Further. Mm -hmm. Okay, hit the ball. Mm -hmm. Hit the ball. Hit your leg up. You got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. Just wiggle your butt just. Just a little. What an ass in that filly. Oh, you should see their faces. <laughs> oh, they're drooling. It's perfect. Well, looky who's here. My favorite smart mouth bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, looky who's here. It's not my favorite Neanderthal. Why don't you go crawl back in your cave, creep? You ought to put that pretty little mouth of yours to better use. Oh! You fucking bitch. Oh. Ain't nobody gonna save your ass this time. Sweet meat. Why don't you back up on this? Wrong, Grease Ball. I believe you'll all be doing yourself a big favor by leaving here right now. Come on. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now, I don't think this is worth breaking the place up over. Do you? Then why don't we just calm down, have a few drinks together. Right, Ernie? I said right, Ernie? That's right, boys. Drinks on the house. Angie, your blouse. Take it off. What? Just take it off. Please. <laughs> Now, you listen to me. Me and my friend came here to party, and that's what we want to do. Now, you can either party with us, or you can fight with each other. It's up to you. And who knows? If you boys behave yourselves, 
You might just decide to be real friendly. There's plenty to go around, if you know what I mean. So drink up, fellas, because I just love a drunk man. Oh, let's get drunk. Yeah. Veronica? I don't think I can go through with this. There's so many of them. Don't worry about it. I'll get you out of this. What are we going to do? No problem. I was at a spot like this once down in Mazatlan. Of course, the bartender's not going to be too happy about this. But... Attention, fellas. There's been a little change in the game plan. Hey, what do you mean? Don't get excited. It's just that my friend and I want to be sure that we're getting real men, not just boys. Can't blame a girl for that now, can you? Yeah. Real yeah. oh, man. We got a real man. Real. Good. You boys are really going to like the rules of this game. The last two men standing in this bar are going to die from too much pussy. I think you better get out of here now. Veronica, I'll be okay. Just get. You're one of my favorites. Come on. Don't mess up anything you might need later. You were one of my favorites. I recall I requested two men. Not a turkey. Christ, animal, you're a fucking mess. What the hell happened to you at that bar? Oh, fuck shit. Get that damn cunt Veronica. I was just about to get laid when she said 15 cowboys on me. Shit. I think I killed three of them, but there are just too many of the pointy-toed pukes. Yeah, right out. Hey, hey, sh slow down. It's that bitch from back at the bar. What a great set of knockers. Hey, how about a ride? No, thanks. Hey, come on, honey. I'll bet and I'll show you the kind of ride you've always dreamed about. Shut up, animal. Hey, listen, listen. It's still a couple of miles to camp. How about it? Well, fuck you too, princess. Wait a minute. Where are you going? We got a good thing here. You should see that broad's tits. She was showing them to everybody back at the bar. She's hot. Hot for some action. Get it, animal. I'm not interested. Well, I sure as hell am. Hey, pal, don't fuck me up just because you're on the map. All right, I'll drive you up to the barn, then I'm screwing. Right on, man. Leave my daughter here for 24 hours and now she's gone. Somebody's gonna regret this. Hello? Who is it? Oh my god. Oh, hold on a second. It's the police. They have Veronica in jail. It, it, it's something about a riot in a bar. Oh god, what next? What? In jail? What kind of fucking camp you got here? Give me that phone. Hello? You got an Angela Cortese there? No. She was with the other girl. Hey, don't tell me how to raise my daughter, you pig. I come down there and break your legs. Oh, you know that new girl, Angela? They took her. Somebody's gonna regret this. Calm down. Now, who took her? It was J.D. and Animal. They just picked her right upside the road and just drove away in J.D.'s truck. Somebody kidnapped my daughter? Somebody's really gonna pay for this. Did you see where they took her? No, they just drove off. I came right back here. You said you saw J.D.'s pickup truck? Yeah, an animal. Animals with them? Mm -hmm. I think I know where they might be. Oh, you better be right. Frankie, get him. Let's go. Come on. Wait a second. You sit down, my guy. Don't leave. It's going to be all right. All right. Okay. I see. But, Daddy. 
Daddy, Daddy, don't. I love him. What do I care about love? Nobody does this to Louis Cortez's daughter and get away with it. Frankie, take him outside. Come on. Move. Put your clothes on. Put your clothes on. Well, well, what are you doing there for? I'm, I'm making the sign of the cross. I know that's stupid, but why are you doing it? I'm, I'm Catholic. You're Catholic? <laughs> that's marvelous. He's Catholic. <laughs> Put the gun away, Frankie. Tell me, uh, you go to church often? Well, never mind. You will. <laughs> oh, this is your lucky day. Your future is insured. Do you like big families? I like big families. I, I never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Tell me, what do you say? You like uh, the numbers, the rackets? I'll tell you what. i give you a casino. A nice casino as a wedding present, huh? Oh, Daddy. <laughs> I didn't put in a thumb, I didn't pull out a plum. I guess I'm not as great as me. Hi, Dad. Ooh, I always knew you carried a heavy load, honey. Tammy, Susie, will you guys back off? What's going on here? Come on, ladies, you've got better things to do with your time. Scram! I doubt that. Maybe later, you hunk. Be the new girl. Yes, I'm How Angela. Do you do? Angela, hurry and get on your leotards and join us for class. Come on, girls. Enough of this fooling around. Now let's get class time. Today, huh? <laughs> All right, girls. Five minute break. Oh, God. Oh, no. Mrs. Slut, I want to talk to you for a minute. Stay the hell away from my boyfriend, JD. If I catch you making eyes at him again, I'm gonna tear him out of your face. Let me handle this. Look, no one, no one in their right mind would want your leftovers. There's not enough penicillin in this whole country, bitch. I have had enough of you today. Hey! That's hey, my you girlfriend! You are. What the hell is that with you? It's you! Oh, shut up! Go with me! Hi, Greg! Hi, Greg. Wait a second. What are you two girls doing out of your cabin? I was hungry. But I can wait. Tammy, will you stop and put that down? And if we don't, what are you going to do? Stick us with your hot dog? Ooh, Come I on! Wish. Look, you're both going to go after... Back to your cabbage, I'm gonna lose my job. I gotta clean up. Oh, Greg, honestly, we just came over to apologize about earlier today. Oh, what? <laughs> I just came here to eat, uh, but 
Craig, how about sticking me with your hot dog? Come on. Jealous, Izzy, honestly. Greg, if there's anything that we can do for you. You know what you can do for me? You can both go back to your cabins. I'm going to get fired now. Come on. Hey, we can help you with the mess, right? I can, we can. Yeah. We can? I can do it myself. Please. Sure. Well, if you all want, if We're you... not going to take no for an answer, right, Susie? Right. But if you want to help me, we can get cleaned up. But help me. Come on. Oh, Greg. Look, I'm off. Oh, God, it's cold in here. Isn't there anything to get warm with? Uh, how about this horse blanket? It looks good. Looks good. Come on. Let's get warm. Oh, God. Oh, oh, this isn't too bad. I'm going to get out of these wet clothes.